generally speaking, when we are born, most of the neurogenesis, which is the development of brain cells, is already done. So we don't really grow a whole lot of new brain cells. This is why patients who have strokes, kind of like it, that, that part of your brain doesn't really regenerate. So sometimes strokes will lead to permanent deficits. It turns out that there's one part of the brain in which we see neurogenesis, and that's in the hippocampus. The hippocampus is the part of our brain that governs learning and memory. And so it would make sense that if we're going to create new neurons, the one part of our brain where we would do that is where we learn new things and form new memories. If I learn to play an instrument at the age of 20, or, you know, I go on vacation at the age of 30, or if I have my first child, I'm constantly forming new memories and learning new things. And so it also makes sense that if that neurogenesis in the hippocampus is inhibited in some way, then we may not be able to learn from our mistakes.